Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play that I'm going to start. And it is Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku 2. Now, I don't I wasn't gonna play this game, um, but recently I've just been in this Dragon Ball Z phase. Like I've been watching, you know, old episodes and things like that, so I'm really souped up to be playing this game right now, and I really... Oh, it's about to start again. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm really souped up to uh, to play this game. So, um, yeah, let's get this started. Um, I actually have to fix my settings, my key settings, so just give me a second. And we're back. Alright, so let's get this thing started now. New game. Alright. So, yeah, as we all know, this is Legacy of Goku 2. I don't like Legacy of Goku 1. I don't like it. Um, so I'm not going to play that game. I mean, maybe I will in the future. Uh, but, yeah, so we could talk about some story. Uh, Goku, who's one of the main characters, he defeated Frieza, who was an evil tyrant. And this is, uh, you know, that's the present day. But we're talking about 16 years from that day. Uh, so it says, uh, two androids with strength beyond comprehension appear from out of nowhere. One by one, the heroes of Earth were destroyed. It is the beginning of a new era on the Earth, an era of darkness. Alright, so there are the two androids right there. Epic fire in the background. Trunks and Gohan are the last surviving descendants of a powerful alien race of the warriors called Saiyans. Now, Frieza, who uh, you have to fight in Legacy of Goku 1, he took control of that planet that the Saiyans lived on and eventually destroyed that planet. And Gohan's father and Trunks' father, who are Goku and Vegeta, were the only two uh, surviving Saiyans from that explosion. But ever since the androids came in, uh, Goku, uh, who died of an illness, and Vegeta, who died in a battle versus the androids, um, now Trunks and Gohan are the only Saiyans left because they're, uh, they, Trunks and Gohan are the sons of them, so they're part Saiyan. So, yeah, they may be the last hope for Earth. Yeah, outside of Pepper Town. Alright, Trunks. This isn't fair, Gohan. Why are the androids doing this? All those innocent people. Is this the way life is supposed to be? I must fight. You're half saying like me, right? You must know what I'm feeling. Alright, so right here, Gohan is just training Trunks because they're training to fight the, uh, the androids. You're pitiful, Trunks. You're an emotional wreck, just like I was when my mother wouldn't allow me to train with my father. I'm your master and you are my pupil. And if you listen to me, you'll be strong enough to face this. I won't let you down. That's enough, uh, that's enough for now. Let's do some more basic training. First, let's practice your melee attack. Alright, so this is the part of the game where they teach you how to play the game, but I kind of already know, actually I know how to play the game already, so. Uh, it's A to attack regularly, and then it's B to, uh, um, attack with your, uh, energy so or key that's what it's really called but yeah so he's like that was great as as a saiyan you are most powerful in your super saiyan form so he uh he's trying to you know train trunks to become a super saiyan which is uh the next form uh transformation that the saiyans have and so that's what trunks is trying to do but he can't quite get there as of yet um when Goku turned into Super Saiyan, it was the death of his friend Krillin that brought him to that. When Vegeta, you know, finally reached the tra transformation, he did it in a different way. He wanted to be the best, and he used that as motivation to achieve being a Super Saiyan. Right now, Trunks is just having problems with motivation, so. Uh, but now there's like an earthquake, and Trunks is like, what was that? It's those androids again. Stay here, I'll take care of it. And Trunks, and uh... Gohan tries to go all alone, and he doesn't even have an arm. I don't know if you guys noticed that. He doesn't have an arm. And my frame rate is kind of crappy right now, but... Yeah, whatever. Um, so let's go talk to Gohan Trunks. What, are you crazy? I can't let you go against those two alone. Listen, I'm a lot more vulnerable when you're there with me. But I'm much stronger this time. Besides, you're injured. You already lost an arm to the androids. And then he thinks about it, and he's like, all right... You win. Let's go get him. Right, cool. And then Trunks goes to prepare, and Gohan just knocks him out right there. Hits him in the neck. Straight to the neck. That must have hurt a lot. Well, anyway, 
he says, sorry about that, Trunks. This is my battle for now. You're not quite ready yet. I know you'll understand someday. So now we're all knocked out. And it's raining. And Trunks is like, ugh. And he realizes what happened. And he's like, no. Gohan, why did you have to go alone? If I was Trunks, I'd be so pissed off, man. Alright, so that little circle that appeared there, it's called the flight circle. You can, uh, when you press A on it, you can fly to other places, so. Yeah, it's kind of like a cutscene, but, yeah. I don't know why my frame rate is so low. It seems like it's slow, right? I'll try and fix that in the next videos. Okay, so, we're gonna head over this way, and we see Gohan getting owned by the stupid androids. And eventually, Gohan is going to die from the androids, which is unfortunate. Gohan is one of my uh, most favorite DBZ uh, characters, so yeah. He's like, Gohan, what did they do to you? You were my best friend. You were everything to me. And is it, it's at this point where Trunks finally finds the right motivation and he reaches the next level. But that's the future. You know, that's not the present. Um, it's actually very weird because, um, Trunks, actually, I'm not even going to go into any story right now. I don't have to, you know, the game pretty much covers it all. So yeah, um, that's the future. Now we're back to the present day, which is 16 years back in the past. And this is where we're going to start the game. So Gohan, son of Goku becomes impatient while waiting for his father to return home after, after defeating the evil tyrant Frieza. Um, the, the thing is Frieza and Goku, they were fighting on a planet called Namek, and uh, the planet was about to explode, and Goku escaped from the planet barely, and he landed on some other planet, um, and he's been gone for like two years or something like that, um, but, you know, now he's coming home, so Gohan is getting a little bit impatient, but, you know, understandably so, he hasn't seen his father in quite a while, so he's like, what's the deal, mom, where's dad, isn't it about time he returned, I miss him so much. I know, honey. I miss him, too. Now you be a good boy and finish your studying. Chi-Chi was always that mom that always put, you know, was like, you better get good grades and stuff like that. But Gohan is homeschooled. Um, sometimes Chi-Chi gets him, like, you know, uh, tutors and things like that. Gohan is actually very smart. So, yeah, we can press start and uh, get to the um, thing. We She gives us a, a quest, I guess you can call it to go find the math book and um the math book is uh actually i think i know why my frame rate is low um i'll, f I'll fix it right after i pick up the math book okay so the math book you have to go up the stairs and you'll get it um so we pick it up and we get our math book all right so let me try and fix the frame rate right now okay and we're back let's see if the frame rate is a bit better ah much better look at that I don't know if you guys were able to see the difference, but I see the difference. It's actually still kind of not as good as I would like to be, but it, at least it's a bit better. Alright, so Gohan is going to go study his math. And he's a little bit tired, so he dozes off a bit. And yeah, so if you didn't notice, we're in a dream. The, do the window's open, so let's head out and see what's going on. So this is a save point. We can save the game here. Um, but uh, we're not going to do that yet. Actually, yeah, we are going to save it. Might as well. Okay, so let's travel on over here. I've played this game several times. Um, and I've beaten it several times. But it's been a while since I've played it. So it might be interesting to see. I, I, re I already remembered how to run. So yeah. I, it's going to be interesting to see if I forget anything. I don't think I'll forget much. I mean... I might forget some side quests along the way, but when it comes to the main thing, I know Dragon Ball Z so well that, you know, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna know what I have to do next, so, yeah, we're gonna come over here, and we're in this little area, and we see Goku, which is Gohan's dad, and he's like, hi, Gohan, get that dad, and he's like, dad, is it really you? He's like, of course it is, and he gets all happy, and he's like, I missed you so much. And he says, I miss you too. What happened up there on Namek? And once he starts ha asking questions, then things get weird. And then he turns around and then boom, there's Frieza like right in front of us. Um, one thing to keep in mind, um, you know, he's like, <laughs> Frieza, Frieza says that 
he's a loser. And Gohan's like, no, uh, because, you know, he's in a bad dream and, yeah, freezes here. Um, and you're actually going to fight him now. So, yeah, um, if you're not careful, this fight can actually be, actually be quite difficult. So, you have rocks here, which sometimes um, drop, like, um, food and things like that. And so, that, that might be able to help you. So, usually I do much better than this, but... Yeah, you gotta like you have to time it right, or else he'll he'll hit you. Oh god! All right, let me let's hit him one more time with the energy beam, and let's get something to eat. And then I forgot he can throw energy beams at you too. So, so yeah, we beat him, and we almost died. Usually I do much better than that, but if you're not careful, that can be a fairly difficult fight. Um, but yeah, it's a dream, so we were able to beat him, and now he wakes up. And he's like, uh, what does he say? Oh yeah, whoa, what a crazy dream. Could it mean that Frieza is back? I can sense him. Alright, so in Dragon Ball Z, you can sense the presence of people by their power levels. So, everyone's under the assumption, the assumption that Frieza is dead. Um, but, obviously he's not dead now because everyone's sensing him. Well, Gohan is sensing him and we're gonna go answer this phone real quick. He's like, hello? And it's Krillin. And Gohan asked, uh, Krillin asked Gohan if he's feeling the same thing, and, you know, the awful truth is that it's Frieza. Um, now the thing with Frieza, the planet exploded on Frieza, like Frieza was on the planet when it exploded while Goku escaped. But Goku's father, I mean, Frieza's father found him in space because he survived it, and they reconstructed him, and they fixed him up, and now he's alive, so. So... Uh, they're gonna go and try and uh, fight Frieza and intercept them, see if they can beat him. Um, so, our journal is updated, so let's see what we can do here. It says, meet Krillin and the others in the northern wastelands. So, yeah, we're gonna go and uh, save the game, actually. And we're gonna go meet them in the next episode. Yeah, save game. Alright, so... Hope you guys enjoy this new Let's Play I'm doing. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for it. Uh, like I said, it's going to be great. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.